Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful flower pots and vases made with different glass containers, paper and concrete. They look simple yet elegant, which makes them timeless decor pieces that will add that something special to your home. Besides concrete, the main things for the first DIYs you're going to need are either test tubes, I got them from my local craft store, but you can also find them online or in Ikea. Or you can also use different types of small bottles. And lastly, some branches and small air plants. The first thing you want to do is creating a mold for the concrete all around the tube using some thick paper. Think about how tall you want your vase to be so you know where to place the paper approximately. And then wrap the thick paper all around the bottom part of the tube, making sure it's wrapped around tightly without any gaps in between. And then use some strong tape and attach it all around the paper and the tube so everything is secured tightly. You can also add a guideline so you know where the bottom of the tube is so you know how much or how little concrete you will need to pour in later. You can also do the same with a small bottle and tape the paper all around the bottom the same way. Also, make sure the paper created a round shape. If you have difficulties making the paper roll smoothly and you get edges instead of smooth curves, you can slide the paper around your finger or at the edge of your desk. So you would hold the paper on one side and pull it down with your other hand to smooth out the paper and to create a curvy shape. Once we are all set up, we can prepare the concrete mixture. For the first projects, we need only a little bit as the tubes and the bottle won't be that tall. But you can always mix more if you need more. Add as much water as the instruction says and mix everything very well until you have a smooth creamy texture. I found I needed more water than the instructions said, but don't overdo it. We don't want to make it super liquidy, just creamy. Now all we need to do is to carefully pour in the concrete mixture into the molds we just created. Once you filled in the concrete and you are happy with the amount, carefully tap the tube or the bottle on the table to remove air bubbles from the mixture. This way they will move up and pop. And now we need to let it dry completely before we can move on to the next steps. While the first projects are drying, I can show you how to make another simple design using a bigger bottle. To create a mold for this DIY, you can use either a deep square shaped mold or you can create your own using some cardboard. Luckily, I had some leftover cardboard that I cut to size using a cutter, but you can also use any other square shaped container. Add some tape all around the edges so nothing can accidentally leak and the mold is ready. Now you want to prepare some concrete again. This time we need a little bit more. And then pour the mixture into the box, place the bottle on top and then push it downwards. I would recommend to completely pour in the mixture and then add the bottle as I only poured in a little, place the bottle inside and then try to pour in the rest all around it. This turned out to be rather messy so don't do that. Or if you like the design, you can totally go for it. If your bottle doesn't want to sit still and keeps moving upwards, you can simply pour in some stones or something else that is heavy inside. Here I made a little funnel using some paper and then poured in small stones inside the bottle. And now it's time for it to dry. By the way, before you clean the bowls you use for the concrete, make sure you remove as much concrete as possible using some paper and then throw it away. You don't want to clean the bowls just like that in the sink and then clog the pipes in your house. But if you have some old plastic containers you don't need, you can just use those instead and then throw them away. Since I also wanted to have a pretty place for my new succulents, I decided to make a cute succulent pot out of concrete as well. And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. First, I measured out approximately how big I want the planter to be. It shouldn't be too wide, but big enough to fit in the plants. Now to create the mold, I'm going to use thick cardboard again. Let's start with the outer shape and create the bottom part of the first tray. I measured out the length and the width using my template as a guidance and then cut out the shape using a cutter. This is going to be the bottom of the whole planter. Now since you want to place the plants inside, we also need an empty area inside the pot. 
That's why I went ahead and created a few guidelines that I could use to create the bottom of the second mold. I wanted the walls of the planter to be about 2cm so I measured out 2cm on each side. So we have 16 by 40 centimeters for the outer side of the mold and 12 by 36 centimeters for the inner mold. Using these measurements or the measurements of your choice, we can now create the bottom of the second mold. Now what is left to do is we need to create the flaps on each side. Here I used the same measurements for the length and the width but made the height a little bit differently. I made the inner mold a little bit narrow but the outer mold about twice as high. Next, we want to attach the flaps onto the bottom part using some strong tape. Just place them around the inner part and then connect the cardboard with the tape. Do this with the outer and the inner mold. And then hold the flaps upwards like that and tape the edges the same way. Make sure you cover every edge and corner with the tape to avoid any leaking. By the way, I would highly recommend to also cover the inside of the big mold and the outside of the small mold with tape because the concrete will get stuck to the paper otherwise and you will have to send it away later. I had this problem because I didn't think about it at all because I was too proud of myself that I made this mold over myself so it was a lot of work to get rid of the leftover cardboard later. Just a heads up. This is what we have now. A deep and a narrow mold with 2cm space all around it. For this planter we are going to need lots of concrete. Here I needed about 3kg of concrete that I prepared in 3 batches with 1kg each. And then I poured the mixture inside the big mold until I was happy with the height and then placed a smaller tray inside while pushing it downwards. If it moves up again we can put something heavy on top. Here it's important to keep it pushed down because we need that deep space for our succulents. Also make sure you have about the same width on the sides and that you pushed out any air that might be trapped underneath the mold in the center. Tap the mold against the table to pop some leftover bubbles and then let everything cure for a few hours. I let everything cure overnight and then carefully remove the cardboard. Do this very carefully because concrete needs up to 24 hours to completely harden and you never know if you accidentally push something too hard and break something. And these are our projects. Here you can see what might happen if you roll the paper not tightly enough but you can fix that later if you don't like the way it looks. As you can see there is a little bit of paper around the concrete as well but that's okay because we can remove it using sanding paper. You can also use the sanding paper to remove any harsh edges and make the surface completely even. Don't forget about the bottom of the vase as you might need to sand it a little bit as well to make it stand really straight. Since the succulent planter had more area that wasn't covered with tape, it was a lot of work to remove the paper here. I used sanding paper and different tools I had at home to brush it away. But be really careful when you are using sanding paper. When you sand down any harsh edges or the excess paper, you don't want to breathe in the dust. To avoid that, you can wear a mask and use a vacuum cleaner right next to it so it gets rid of the dust immediately. If you're clumsy sometimes as I am and accidentally push too hard on the vase that it gets attached from the concrete, don't panic. Simply use some strong glue that is made for those materials and glue both pieces together. This way you make sure that everything is secured properly. Once you removed all the excess paper that got stuck, we can go ahead and decorate everything a little bit using some acrylic paint. I wanted to keep everything rather minimal because I wanted it to be really simple yet elegant and classy. I used washi tape to cover up some areas and then used copper colored acrylic paint to color the gap. You can also use a sponge brush if you have a bigger area to evenly apply the paint. It will give the surface a nice texture instead of streaky lines. You can really play around the different designs until you're happy. I changed my mind after I used some white paint on the small test tubes because I felt like it was too much. So I removed the paint again and then also removed the concrete that was on the glass so it fits the other tube. Here again be very careful. And then I just kept it very simple with just one copper line. And now it's time to add our plants. I placed my succulents one by one into the pot and tried to create a really balanced placement. I also included some other plants that were in the same section and added some small leaves from my other succulent that fell off. 
I'm not sure yet if the planter is deep enough, we will see how it goes. If I notice it's too narrow, I will just add a little bit of concrete to the rim and mold it into a higher tray. And this is how it looks. For the other vases, I simply used some branches of different plants and created a small bouquet. And then added a small air plant inside the small bottle. Now we just need to add some water and mist our plants and our beautiful plant setup is finished. I'm so in love with these projects and I'm officially obsessed with concrete. It's so fun to use and the results are stunning. Let me know if you would like to see more cute and elegant DIYs in the future because I'm currently setting up my new apartment as you guys know and I would love to share some ideas with you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it to support this channel and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell to get notified when I have uploaded a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. And for now, you can check out my playlist full of my other DIYs right here. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!